the Philippine non-life insurance sector has seen a compound annual growth rate of 15.7%. Joining me down the line is Patricia Achaus Chilip from local provider Standard Insurance Company. Patricia, the local non-life insurance sector is expected to continue to grow, but what is likely to impact its development? Well, as you said, we've had excellent growth through the last couple of years, some very strong economic growth. In terms of the non-life insurance industry, we are seeing a lot of regulatory requirements. One of them is the increasing capitalization. In 2013, your capital as an insurance company, as a non-life insurance company, had to be at 250 million pesos. And by 2022, it has to be at 1.3 billion pesos. Every three years, they increase the capitalization requirement. And we've seen insurance industry players for non-life shrink from 107 players to 87 players, now we're at 64 players, and we see further consolidation. Right now, our tax rates are at 12% VAT and 12.5% for DST. Because of this, it's a little bit pricey for consumers to have non-life insurance, their car insurance, their home insurance. We're hoping that we'll be able to lower this. We've already um, tried to pass a bill in Congress, and um, we're hoping um, it does well for our industry. The life insurance industry was successful in lowering their tax rates and their growth rates has been amazing. So we hope to follow suit. Now the growing automobile sector over there is one of the real driving forces behind the non-life insurance industry. How have you been capitalizing on this? Just today's paper said that the automobile industry here has reached 29.6% growth rate compared to last year. We've sold 250,000 units in the Philippines to date, and by next year they expect to hit 300,000. So we have a lot more cars than we do road, but um, it's been very good for us, especially for standard insurance, as we are the leader in um, automobile insurance in our country. You were talking earlier about the consolidation you're expecting to see. It's always been a very competitive market over there. So how has standard insurance been staying ahead of the game? Well, we've been consistent in our strategy, and we call our strategy STAND. S is for um, speedy claim service, which as you know, in our country we have a lot of catastrophes, so speedy claim service is very important. Um, we have a trusted and knowledgeable sales force, um, and they've been around for years. They, I think, are one of our strongest um, factors in keeping our clients comfortable. We're also accessible through many distribution channels. We have like we're online, we sell through car dealers, we have a lot of, we have a multitude of agents, and so you are able to buy our insurance in very many ways. We also love new thinking, innovation, and that's been amazing in keeping our costs lower and keeping us efficient. And then at the end of the day, discipline underwriting. Um, it keeps our portfolio safe and it keeps us sustainable. So what are your latest innovations? Recently, we have our online client management portal. You can manage your policy online. We send you renewals so that you, you never miss or expire policy. We send any update on your claims online. So it will really help our clients manage their policies and their coverage better. Another thing we have is emergency protect. So that is a new feature we give for free to all of our motor car insurance clients. Um, when you are in an accident, we'll give you free ambulance cover. So we'll take you to the hospital, whether you're here in the Philippines or anywhere in the world. It's consistent with our strategy of being there when you need us the most. So we don't only take care of your car, we also take care of you. We've also launched this year a large facility in the south, wherein we study a lot of um, repair costs, we study claims, and to, to further reduce our costs and to make it easier for the customer to buy our insurance. Now, of course, the Philippines is plagued by extreme weather conditions, so having a very good catastrophe response must be very important for you. It is. We have a very large manpower complement at 900 people, of which 250 people are, are claims and technical people. We are able to send right away a contingent down there to check not only on their cars, but of course on our clients. It's very important to be there on the ground and sort of hold their hand through all of it when, when uh, things like that hit. I mean, I think in Haiyan we had 900 motor car claims and we were able to adjust those right away. But more importantly, we we're able to show support to our customers. The government's doing its best to rehabilitate these disaster hit areas, but for us in the insurance industry, we fortified our manpower complement in some of these areas so that we are sure to respond quick in a disaster. So for our nation, we're just helping each other um, 
get through these disasters. Finally, what do you see as the key trends and opportunities in the non-life insurance sector moving forward? Well, the beauty of the non-life insurance sector in the country, hopefully, is that it's really growing at a rapid rate. If we are able to make it more affordable for, cu for customers, then we will be able to make the insurance penetration rate, you know, better in our country. And I think it's good for the consumer overall. The insurance sector is bound to grow as it does for any growing economy. There's no question of awareness. Every, every so often you have a typhoon and um, it makes you aware you, know, you need to protect all your assets as well as you know, the future of your family and all of that. So it bodes well for the insurance industry here in the Philippines.